So here is the documentation of the electronics. Okay, for the power cube. Starter switch. There are particular labels on the different terminals. There's S, M, B, G, and L. The B is the power. The lower, if you look at that square pattern, the B is the power going to the positive terminal. The one above that, that's S for start. That's the black wire here. That goes to the starter solenoid on the Kohler engines. Get some light in there. Starter solenoid, that's the that's the actual connection. That's the solenoid is on the engine itself. You don't need an external solenoid. And the power, of course, goes from the positive to the solenoid. The negative terminal is grounded here. So back to the switch. There's another terminal called L, which is the upper right of the four. The L is the running, the run, which means that you need to connect the power up the fuel solenoid and the fan. So here we have the fuel solenoid wire uh, going to this thing is the fuel solenoid. It's the one that has these diodes in it. And the other one goes back to the fan, the positive of the fan. Uh, and you have to figure out the direction of the fan. The fan is bidirectional, so you have to connect it one way or the other such that when turned on, the fan is blowing forwards, not into the engine. And then the other end of the fan goes to the ground, and the ground is connected to the terminal of the battery right here. It's an easy connection. You just unscrew that and put on the ground. So that's the documentation so far. Two things left. There's two more wires. After we turn the engine on, after f filling up with fuel and hydraulic fluid, we're going to test what these are. But one of them will be charging, and the other one will be shut off. For the shut off, the shut off goes to the terminal called M on the switch. So M goes to the shutoff. Now the ground, since the system is already connected to ground at the frame, we don't need to use that um, because, for example, the starter solenoid is grounded through the fr frame, so the ground can be left untouched, and that's about it. Now, these are switches that I've seen different patterns on them, but the letters, we'll go by the letters uh, for start, which is S, L is for run, there's B for ground, no, G for ground, of course, B for the 12 volts power, and then there's M for shutoff, so that's, that's the convention on these switches.